What's going on everyone? I am the Random Hero and today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a program called Launchbox. Now, <clears throat> what Launchbox is is a basically it's an emulation system. Uh it, it's very similar to Hyperspin, especially in the newest form. Um and what I'm going to do is we'll just kind of take a look at it, uh show you how it's set up. This this one unlike hyperspin which can be run on an android based system like the Sh uh, nvidia shield uh and or uh, nexus player for that matter <clears throat> which i haven't really tried honestly cuz i don't think the nexus player can really handle it to be honest um but again i haven't tried it so I i've been wanting to hook my external drive to it just to see um but anyways uh launchbox so <clears throat> with the with this system, uh, there there are a lot of different uh, mini PC setups or uh, media center setups, for that matter, where you're essentially just using the uh, PC. So in that case, Launchbox is is great um, and it will work fine. Um, and it's it's coming along very nicely. They've done a lot of upgrades. Uh, they have a lot of good tutorials on how to set up everything. Um, the program is free but they do have a premium version uh which will give you added uh added features uh and things like that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to launch Launchbox. Now there are two different versions of this. Uh they have Launchbox which is kind of a um I don't know, it's just the the base uh system setup uh as far as you know, you can use this in its form like as it is uh, so we'll get this going here in a second and let's just click out of the update for now and what it does is it'll it'll kinda give you a an idea as far as what they've done every time you get an update cause you can you can allow it to update to beta versions so um, now you can see you can add different systems in and what it does is it will look for those systems um, it, or as far as the games go uh, and you just essentially tell it where they are so and it does PC games as well which I find to be pretty cool because again it is a PC that you're running this on so it's kinda like that all-in-one which is which is cool because then you can just fire this thing up and go from there so just to show you one thing real quick um, what you do is if you go to import and you go to ROM files now you can see there's Steam games then you have Windows games uh, you have DOS games and then you have zip package not familiar with that one so we're gonna go to ROM files now if we go to next then what it'll do is it'll say which one do you want to import and you just go and you're going to find your drive that has your ROM files in it and mine is currently in the hyperspin folder and you just select the system you want to use let's just say Game Boy which I don't think I have any but um, so there you go and then you just click next it'll ask you what system you want to do so let's just go to next it'll say platform and then you're gonna go down and we pick Game Boy so we're gonna go to Nintendo Game Boy Going to next, and depending on which uh, which emulator you have, you know, of course, RetroArch will do this one. Um, so we can just click next, and you go from there. Uh, I don't want to finish that out because I don't want to do that right now. But really easy to add everything in. Um, you can change the uh, look. Uh, I think that's one of the features as far as premium versions go. Uh, the, as far as the default uh, colors, stuff like that. Uh, and if you want to launch a game, you know, you can just... Uh, and you don't necessarily have to have these games installed. See, I mean, I have a bunch of Steam games, but, you know, a lot of them aren't even installed. But if I go to open them, they will pop open Steam and say, hey, do you want to install this game? So, um, but that's kind of on that one. Now, <clears throat> what I was saying with Big Box is... What Big Box is, is essentially a 
it, it looks like hyperspin, especially in its current form because they did ha add a wheel to it. So we're just going to click on big box, and here's the icon here, you can see it. Uh, but it's very cool, and it, and it works really well. Um, let's just give it a second to load. Okay. We're just going to click no for now. Now you can see you can control with a uh, mouse, keyboard, or if you have a, a controller hooked up to your PC, you can do that as well. So you can see... I'm going to go ahead and go to window. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go to Yeah, we'll just do uh no, we'll just do Nintendo. So, and this is a different style of form as well as far as having these uh scroll over like they are currently. Um and what it does is you can you can pick different um uh different setups here for as far as how you want these to be displayed. Um, I, I like this one, so went with it. And this is one of the newer ones that they released. Let's just do Adventure Island. And then it comes up. It's going to play the video. And we can stop that video. Um, and it tells you all the information on the game. You can, uh, at that point, you can play the game. Uh, you can mark it as broken. You can flip the box, which is pretty cool. Um, so a lot of cool things, you know, for this program. And like I said, it's I think it's like forty dollars or something like that for like a lifetime subscription. But it's like twenty for a year or something like that. So it's well worth it. Uh, and these guys are putting a lot of work into this thing um, to get it going. As far as um, you know, get it running really well. And yeah, I mean, it's very cool. The uh, like I said, the It'll show you the recent games that you've played on the systems um, and all that stuff. So, very cool. So, we can let's back out of this. And in here, you can go in here and change. Um, you can go to the publishers, developers. You can go to genres. You can go to the platforms. You can change your options. Then we can switch back to desktop mode. So, like I said, it's very cool. It, it is still currently in the works. Like I said, they're, they're still working on it every day. Um, upgrading it, making it better and better, and, you know, like I said, the, the thing is, is with Hyperspin on the PC, I personally found it harder to get everything set up, uh, correctly, or as far as how you would, um, consider something done, I had a lot of problems with controller setup, and, and it's not, obviously not everybody, because a lot of people have, the, I mean, they, they do it, and it works, with LaunchBox, I haven't had any of those problems. Um, as far as this, like I said, I do use Hyperspin on my Shield, but as far as like on my desktop PC or anything, I just use Big Box, um, and it works fine. Because a lot of times, the biggest thing is RetroArch. Uh, RetroArch is um, a really great uh, emulator because it's kind of an all-in-one which it helps with a lot of the setup if you've ever set up hyperspin uh with hyperlaunch and all that stuff um or was it hyperlaunch hq i think it was um it can be kind of a pain in the ass if you don't know what you're doing so yeah like i said very cool program um it's only going to get better and let's just uh let me show you the website here Okay, so it's launchbox-app.com. So right on the front, there it is. You have issues and requests. You have download. And we're going to go to premium. They kind of tell you a video as far as, you know, what you're getting. Uh, and you can see it here for $20. Bucks. Um, and all future updates for one year. I think there's another one. And there you go. So $50 for forever um and honestly like why would you know if you're gonna spend 20 to get a year why not spend 50 and get it forever like i said you can set it up many different colors uh a lot of different systems 
uh, you can do a whole bunch of customization and it's just like I said it's just a, in general a great app and it works really well if you're into that kind of thing of course um, if you're not then why are you watching this so <clears throat> um, I think that's about it as far as this goes I will post this link in the description um, so yeah give those guys you know um, Give those guys your uh, money and get a great program. And, you know, obviously check it out first. You know, because if you, if you download it and you don't like it, then, hey, it was free. But if you download it and you want to support developers, um, which, you know, like I said, I've already got my license. I, I, I felt like it was well worth it uh, for the extra stuff that you do get. So, um, all right. Well, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, you know, click thumbs up. If you like my channel like my content like what I do as always it is appreciated and um, you know feel free to subscribe and have a good night thank you